So during the run of Upper Deck, Konami was really adamant on selling as much product as possible in whatever way they can. One method that they used to do is insert a promo card to an already released structure deck to get rid of the stock that they had left over. Oftentimes this tanked the value of the products because there would be too much released. However, there were certain times where the product was short printed because it just didn't sell too well and 10 years later became extremely collectible. The product of today's video is something that is in my opinion S tier in rarity. It is one of the most scarce Yu-Gi-Oh products out there and it had one of the most unique releases in all all of the Yu-Gi-Oh archives. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Spellcaster's Command Structure Deck, the card on the inside, why it's so rare, and why it's so expensive in the aftermarket. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the Spellcaster's Command Structure Deck was released on March 31st, 2009, and this was right alongside the separation between Konami and Upper Deck Entertainment. At that same time, Upper Deck decided to release a special variant of this Structure Deck that included a promo card of Magician's Valkyria on the inside. This special variant of this deck was only released in Rite Aid, which is a pharmaceutical chain in North America. And this product completely tanked. So they pretty much abandoned reruns for this thing and it became one of the most scarce items in the Yu-Gi-Oh world. I personally have seen only one of these come up for sale or actually like the images of it. The other one was posted like about 10, 15 years ago in a YouTube video where someone was asking like why their deck came with the Magician's Valkyria so like this thing is in S tier class of rarity like it is so difficult to get so I figured like it deserves a video on its own. I have the opportunity here because my buddy brought his in and he's like the only one that I've seen that owns this thing. So I figured, yo, let me take this and show you guys a close up of this product because like I told you, I have never seen this in person until today, which is pretty insane to say because I've gone through probably hundreds if not thousands of Yu-Gi-Oh products in my lifetime. So anyway, what makes this deck so special? Realistically, I can say it's not like an insane product that's completely unique. Obviously, most of the stuff on the inside you can get for like $50 in a regular structured deck. What's really cool about it is the historic value and the fact that it's like a uniquely sealed product that has Konami wrapper around it that includes a Magician's Valkyria. This Magician's Valkyria is completely exclusive to this deck. So you're not gonna be able to get the Valkyria from like another product. It has its own unique product code, which is SDSC-ENSE1. And this is again, the only place to get it. The card itself is actually extremely difficult to find. There's only two listings on TCG player for this, which is kind of unheard of for most cards. One is heavily played and the other one is lightly played. And they go for like 70, $80, which is mind boggling to think about. So yeah, like this card is extremely hard to find. And that even goes to further prove the fact that the product is pretty much extinct. What's special about this and what makes it like kind of unique to the other Spellcasters Command Structure Deck, they are both factory wrapped. So there are versions of this that are first edition and they look that pretty much the exact same and they are factory wrapped. However, the exclusive special edition variant has a sticker on like the front cover of the box. This sticker is under the wrapper. So it's not like you can add it on later, which is very important when it comes to protecting the integrity of the product as well as the sealed aspect. I think the fact that the stickers on the inside is what makes this a perfect collectible. So not only do you have the unique sealed aspect here, you have something that identifies the contents on the inside. And not only that, you have an extremely rare promo on the inside. I was just talking to my buddy the other day about it and I was telling him how I think that something like this is actually even more important than the Structured Deck Deluxe because the Structured Deck Deluxe, it doesn't have rare promos on the inside. This one is obnoxiously rare and it has an obnoxiously rare promo. This is pretty much akin to what UBP is where UBP is an extremely rare product. It has extremely rare packaging and like, you know, it's a very aesthetic product in itself. But not only that, it also has extremely unique cards on the inside. The Exodia pieces in Secret Rare here are very, very unique. They have their own identity. And in my opinion, add a lot to the identity of this piece, which this one 
does even better because this is even way rarer than that. If there's like 25 UBPs out in the world left today, there's probably less than 10 of this, which is really, really crazy to think about. Again, this is the only one I've seen in my lifetime. Some people claim that they have some or they have seen others, but I've never seen images of any. This is the only one that I've seen. But I mean, that's pretty much it. It's a short video. I wanted to highlight this to you guys since I got it in my hands. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you have any information that you can add for this piece? If you know of any that exists in the world today, I'd love to know about it and maybe try and grab one for myself. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe. And if you want to support me further, I have a Patreon and you can also support yourself by picking up your own TCG accessories at strictlyseal.com. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you learned something. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.